Today I'll be looking at Tesoro's Lobera Supreme Full Color Illumination Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. The Lobera gets its name as all Tesoro keyboards get their name by being named after a famous sword. In this case, the sword Lobera, which means Wolf Slayer in Spanish, was wielded by Saint Ferdinand III of Castilla. As for Tesoro themselves, they are still a relatively small gaming peripheral provider and they are based out of the United States. The cool thing about Tesoro is that they are made up of a team of gaming enthusiasts. So who better to build gaming peripherals than hardcore gamers themselves? Now for the keyboard itself, you're looking at a feature-packed mechanical gaming keyboard. It has full color illumination and you can choose between blue, brown, black, and red switches. If you're unsure of what the different switches do, I've posted an article that goes over the differences on the EGC website and there's a link to it in the description below. The Lobera keyboard I have has brown switches. And while the Lobera does use the cheaper KO switches rather than the more expensive and popular Cherry MX switches, unless you're a hardcore keyboard enthusiast, you probably won't be able to tell the difference. If you can't live without Cherry MX switches, then unfortunately, you'll have to look at other options. Alright, let's check out the packaging and get the box open so we can take a look at the keyboard and get into some of its features. The first thing you notice is how heavy the packaging is, which is a good sign of its build quality. The box has a small display window giving you a glimpse of the right side of the keyboard and it shows a picture of the Lobera sword. Also, the case comes with a handle, which is nice if you want to use it as a carrying case to transport it to LAN events. On the back, you get all the features and specs, and you get a look at some of the color illumination options. And then, on the top of the box, it tells you what switches the keyboard comes with. This keyboard comes with brown switches. The Lobera Supreme is held in place by two styrofoam supports on both sides, and it is protected by a plastic cover. And, as the weight of the packaging suggested, the keyboard is definitely very well built, and it is very heavy, which again, is a good thing. Overall, the packaging for the Lobera Supreme is outstanding, but that's something that you should expect from a keyboard in this price range anyways. Tesoro also includes a quick start guide and warranty information, but it does not come with a software and driver installation disk. Instead, you will have to go to Tesoro's site to download the software and drivers. Now let's take a look at the keyboard itself. For the Lobera's features, the keyboard will allow you to switch between N-key rollover, which will help prevent ghosting, and 6-key rollover. The F1 through F6 keys also serve as media controls, and the F8 through F12 keys will allow you to switch between profiles quickly. In my opinion, the Lobera Supreme has an awesome design. It looks as sturdy as it actually is, giving it a kind of industrial feel, and unlike some other high-end boards, the design isn't over the top. At the top right of the keyboard, you have what appear to be five different indicator lights. However, the first light is actually a one-touch game mode button, and the last light will allow you to instantly record macros on the fly. And, although you can't see it, above the lights are the two USB ports, the mic and headphone jacks, and a DC power jack that will provide additional power for those ports. The three buttons below the spacebar are also programmable, giving you the option to have three more easily accessible macros. The keyboard also has rubber feet that will allow for three different heights, making it easy to adjust it to a position that's comfortable for you. And, of course, there is a wide range of different colors you can choose between for your backlighting. Overall, the Lobera Supreme is a very solid gaming keyboard. While it does lack Cherry MX switches, the Kale switches it comes with are more than enough to satisfy the majority of gamers. It's very well built, it has plenty of macro options, and it comes in four different switch options. While the software isn't the greatest, it doesn't take too long to find your way around it and start customizing your keyboard the way you want it. All in all, for $140, this keyboard stacks up well against the competition, and it is a worthy high-end gaming keyboard. Alright, that wraps up this unboxing and overview of Tesoro's Lobera Supreme Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. If you want to read the full, in-depth written review, please check the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.